Lou, Big Lou, Barbecue, and this is what I got going on for you. We're gonna do some pork loin today. Oh, that sounds good, doesn't it? A whole pork loin, it's just about a medium-sized pork loin. It's not a huge one. And um, a lot of times I like to take the pork loins and cut the little point end off of it and make some boneless chops and cut that flat end off of it and make some butterfly chops and just cook the center roast. But today we're doing the whole thing. And um, this recipe, is kind of based off of my rib recipe. A few years ago, I was doing ribs and I didn't have any brown sugar to put in my rubs. So I used some Louisiana cane syrup. It came out to be great ribs. And I'll be doing a video on ribs and how I do the ribs with the cane syrup not too long from now. But today, it's a pork loin. And um, pork loin is a tender cut of meat. It's got a fat cap on top, but it can dry out if you, but you can smoke it for hours and hours and get a nice pretty smoke ring in there and it tastes real great, but it does have a tendency to dry out. So we're gonna be cooking this in a cast iron pan on the grill and I'll show you how I do that. So anyway, welcome to Big Lou Barbecue. Let's go inside and I'll show you how I prepared the pork loin. Okay, welcome back to Big Lou Barbecue. I got about a medium sized pork loin here. Got this fat cap on top. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim off some of the fat. We don't need all the fat on here. We want some of it. It'll melt down and keep the meat moist, but we want to trim off some of this thicker part, like right around here, the edges. Now don't throw it away. Now what I do with this fat is I put it in a little skillet like this and I'm gonna cook it down and render it out and pour it up into a little mason jar and I've got some lard basically. If I got a recipe that calls for lard, I don't cook with a lot of lard, but um, when I need some lard, you need something, I'll have it. So I just put it in the skillet and I will render that uh, down and the little leftover fat pieces. If you wanted to eat that, it'd be like cracklings without the skin. But um, I just generally throw it to the dogs for a dog treat and uh, pour off the grease and save that in a little jelly jar or something in the refrigerator. And then I've got some um, pork fat lard, mante manteca, in case you need to make something. All right, and so that's right about here is a little thick part. Now, this is what's going to make this a Louisiana pork loin, y'all. Now it's time to dress this thing up. We're going to um, first put some mustard on it. Yellow mustard all over it. Just like that. And on the bottom side. And we'll smear this mustard all over it. We'll smear the yellow mustard all over this pork loin. Just like that. All right, I'm gonna rinse my hands. And we're gonna show you what's gonna make this Louisiana pork loin. Right here, I've got some local made Louisiana cane syrup. Pure cane syrup, not a mixture of corn syrup and cane blend. You can buy this at the grocery store under Steen's brand or whatever brand you wanna buy, but it's pure cane syrup. So instead of using brown sugar, my barbecue rub on this pork loin, I'm going to just smear it with cane syrup. And then right after that, we're going to take in some of my Louisiana Cajun Creole seasoning that I make. It's about like Tony's or what other brand you use, Cajun Thunder or what other brand you want to use. And we're just going to rub it all down over this pork loin, just like this. And that way I don't need brown sugar in the rub. Now you can add some cumin to it or you could add whatever spices you want. Use whatever kind of brown um, rub you want. But it works fine with just Cajun Creole seasoning because um, you got the syrup, the sweetness is gonna be in the syrup. We're gonna let that sit while I go out and light the coals. Big Lou Barbecue. Right, well, these coals are just about done. I'm going to be cooking this on an old smoky 22 inch jumbo. What I like about this grill is one, it has long legs, so you can just kick back and get your grill thrill on sitting down. Another thing, I'm not the long legs, excuse me, the short legs. You can buy long legs for them, but it comes with the short legs, so you can just sit down and grill. Another thing I like about the old smoky is that the charcoal plate, there's a plate with holes in it more than it has a 
a grate like a Weber has, is that that charcoal plate is eight inches from the grill grate. So there's a lot of things like this pork loin that you can cook kind of like direct over the coals where you would have to use indirect on a Weber because you'd burn it up or it'd flare up or something like that. So this is one of those things where I just dump the coals out into the bottom. I don't have to worry a whole lot about raking them over to one side and stuff like that. And because I'm cooking it in this cast iron pan right here, I don't need a separate drip pan. This is going to catch all the stuff, so I'm going to have that um, anjou, that, uh, those drippings and all that stuff um, down in there. If I want to make a gravy or something like that to put on top of it, I'd have that. Now, if you don't have an oblong uh, cast iron pan like this, this one's really old from the 1950s. It goes with that uh, cast iron sportsman's grill. It's a fish fryer, but I use it for all sorts of things. If you don't have one of these, a uh, medium-sized pork loin will fit into a 12-inch uh, cast iron skillet. You just kind of got to fold it in half, and it'll fit into a, a cast iron skillet, and you can do the same thing. So, I'm going to pour out these coals. We're going to dump them. Yeah, I should be using a glove. I know that. And um, spread them out. Here, kind of... I know you can't see what's inside here, but I'm just kind of spreading them all out evenly. They don't all need to be on one side or the other. And then now this is some uh, coals from a cook I did the other night. I made some meatballs. I didn't make a video about it, but I made some meatballs, but no sense in letting coals go to waste. All right, old smoky grill. This is my old grill. What I did, I cut two uh, slabs out of it, two slats out of it, and so that I can put coals into it when I cook something like this, when I need to add coals. Now I got another grill just for burgers and stuff. Nowadays, Old Smokey comes with a hinge grill, but this one's older, doesn't have the hinge grill on it. Um, so as you can see, it might have a little bit of rust on it or whatever, but I'm not cooking directly on that grill anyway. I'm gonna set this right there like that, and we're gonna let this go for a few hours. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm gonna throw a little piece of oak from when I cut these oak trees back behind my head last uh, spring or whatever. And we're gonna let this go for a few hours, just sitting right in here like this until it gets to about 165 degrees or so. Uh, not a whole lot else to do it, just make sure I've got the charcoal in it if it runs out. All right, old smoky grill. Those are my charcoal tongs. Love them, man. Absolutely love them. We're gonna set that right like that. Vents on the bottom are wide open. And uh, we'll probably let these go. Well, we'll check the temperature. I'm gonna leave it wide open right now. And I want it to run about 325, 350 in that range. Okay, well, we about an hour, hour 45 minutes into this cook. This thing's holding the temperature well. 325. Oh no, 350, I'm sorry, I looked at it wrong. 350, that's about where I want it to be. Let's take a look at this pork loin. Oh, don't that look good? Just for uh, curiosity's sake, we're gonna go ahead and just take a temperature reading right here in the middle, see where that goes. And what we wanna do is just take this and baste this. Take it and baste it. Take this little dripper sauce here and just baste it all over the top. So the top don't dry. The top's got that fat layer on it, so it's not gonna get too dry. We're going to take this and just baste it. It's got that Cajun Creole seasoning in it, that mustard, and that cane syrup. Louisiana cane syrup. Uh, that cane syrup, by the way, I used is made at a local Christmas tree farm. And there's several places like that that uh, make cane syrup. But if you can't find it local, get pure cane syrup in the grocery store. It's probably sold nationwide, I think, under the Steens brand. I think I said that earlier. And as you can see, we still got a little ways. It's hardly moving the needle anywhere here in the middle. It, that needle ain't moving. So it's still got a little ways to go before it's anywhere near done. We're about an hour, 30, hour, 45 minutes into this cook. Just want to slop it all over, get around the edges here, get in there. Get in there, get in line like that right there. Get it all in the back. Get it between the thing. Woo! Tell you what, I wish you could smell it. I wish you could smell this. Woo! It smells good. I think I'm gonna serve this with some cheese grits, and some roasted broccoli. All right, cover it back 
up and let it go for another hour and a half or so. Okay, well as you can see, the temperature has moved. Those coals I added have lit. And this is getting to be a real dark candy syrup. I don't want that, so time to add a little bit more water. All right. Now I've never actually made gravy with the drippings. I assume it'd probably make a good coffee gravy or something. I just usually just maybe pour some over the meat or something. But right now it's time to baste. And as you can see, uh, we're about two hours in. And this thing is going pretty good. It says 145 there. Let's check it over here on that side, see what it says. Oh, it's going up a little bit. It's about 150. And we want it at least 165. It is pork. You want it to be well done. Well, would you look at that? It is done. Let's check this side right here. We'll let it go deck down a little bit. Put it in. And it comes right back up. Now, you already know, if you've watched any of my other videos, Big Lou's not into fancy gadgets. I don't have digital thermometers. $1,000 barbecue green grills made with ceramic and stuff. This one is doing just fine, man. This pork loin's done. We're gonna baste it one more time, bring it in, and tint it. All right, tint it, and we're gonna let that uh, let it rest while the cheese grits and the broccoli finish off. And I will show you inside what it looks. I'm gonna baste it one more time, and I'm gonna pull it on off of here and take it in. Okay, well it's been tinted now for a little while. Let's uh, and I took it out of the stuff and put it on a platter. Still got some of that good sauce right there. Basically, it's like a, I don't like a barbecue sauce. You don't really need barbecue sauce for this. And yes, I did wash this knife after cutting the raw meat three hours ago. Uh, total time on this, as far as cook time on the grill, about two hours, 45 minutes. Um, you need to plan on uh, three and a half hours if you include the prep time and the rest time and all that stuff, at least three and a half hours, maybe even four. All right, right, let's. I'm just gonna cut it right down the center first so we can take a look and see what the center looks like. And then we'll slice it. All right, look at that. Not a lot of smoke ring because it was in that pan, but there's a little bit of darkness around the edge, but you can, um, it's not a huge bit, bit, but that's all right. It's not, um, this wasn't something I was looking to slow smoke for a long time. Look at that right there. Let's see. Pit master. Let's see, there's a little bit of ring. There's a little bit of smoke ring right there. A little bit. Can you see that? All right, let's see this. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hannah, you want a little bit, honey? No, sir. No? Okay. Mm. That and that Louisiana cane syrup is delicious. I'll show you a picture of it all plated up here in a few minutes. Well, I've taken the camera off the tripod. But my daughter Hannah says she wants some. She just don't want to be in the video. So let's just cut her a piece. And you can hear. She's uh, She likes to be on stage in the drama club, but she don't want to be in a YouTube video. Honey, try that. See what you think of it. Give me a good taste. That's delicious. It's delicious? I didn't say that. I don't have that girl's voice now. You sure you don't want to be on video? I'm sure. Really? Mm-hmm. Look at hey. that smile, y'all. She said it was delicious. Waldo wants some, too. So does Chewy. Look at Chewy right there. Oh.